If online learning games are to be of real use to both the busy student and the busy professor, they need to be both high value and quick to produce. In this segment, we'll explore how to create game question content in under 10 minutes. Let's start by stating our needs. What do I need and how do I get it? As an already overly busy instructor, if instructional games are going to be worthwhile, I need them to be easy and quick to construct. I need to be able to maximize the use of existing content. I need a fairly universal format, one that can easily be reused with different games and study aids, and which can also be used to create fully accessible alternative activities for students that cannot access certain games or who simply do not relate to a learning game experience. Most importantly, I cannot allow this to eat my time. Yes, I need to produce learning games and activities that are engaging and high quality, but I need to be able to do this myself simply and without it eating too much of my time. Let's explore existing content that might already be available to us. What do I already have and what can I obtain quickly? Don't ignore publisher resources. If you don't already have a free faculty account with your textbooks publisher, get one. Publisher resources include digital book samples or ebooks from which you may be able to copy and paste chapter review questions, vocabulary lists, glossary terms, and the like. Supplemental instructor manuals, chapter slides, and test banks may also be available. Your own lecture notes and legacy exercises and worksheets can also provide a treasure trove of useful material. And don't overlook institutionally licensed content such as LinkedIn Learning, formerly lynda.com, online periodical and journal databases available through the college library, such as the Gale database, and of course, fair use and free use licensed material from internet sources, such as Creative Commons. Universal format? While a truly universal format unfortunately doesn't exist, we can format our data in a standard way that is directly usable by many learning game platforms and which is easy to tweak using just a word processor like Microsoft or a spreadsheet such as Excel. Comma separated values or tab delimited formats are natural choices for term definition or question and answer style data like ours. This format lends itself nicely for simple question answer pairs matching questions, true-false questions, multiple choice, and term definition pairs. Tab delimited format is the native format used by the Q games that I've authored. It's also easy to use the search and replace feature of a word processor or spreadsheet to quickly reformat the data as needed for importing to many other learning game platforms. Finally, for some web platforms that require that you input each question and answer individually, tab delimited format makes cutting and pasting easy here as well. Enough talking about this. Let's do this. The videos which follow will show us one, how to grab available content and two, how to do some quick and easy formatting to make the data easily reusable. Let's grab some readily available content as a practical example. Here I have my Vital Source eBook account, which is supported by several publishers for free electronic textbook sampling. An eBook source is often really useful here since text from vocabulary lists and review questions can easily be copied and pasted for quick reuse as a learning game data file. Seeing the last text that I was reading in Vital Source reminds me that the Instructional Technology and Media for Learning textbook has some great instructional support I've already downloaded from the publisher, including an instructor's manual. Here's the instructor's manual, open in Word. Scrolling down, I find a perfect example of the kind of content that can be used in games and worksheets with minimal effort, a vocabulary list. Let's jump to that page. This is perfect. Terms followed by definitions. I'll copy and paste this into a new Word document, ready for the next step. Great, we've got our content and are ready to format it. We'll do this in the next segment. 
OK, we've got our content. Let's transform it to a pretty universal format, tab delimited. Each line will contain one term, followed by a tab character, followed by a definition. I'm calling this a universal format, but it might be more accurate to describe it as a universal intermediate format, one that can be easily tweaked to comply with the needs of many different game and worksheet resources I've discovered so far. For example, this is the native format for the QGame resources that I've written, but some other sites such as crossword and word search generators may require the terms and definitions to be separated by a blank space or by a special character. Using the search and replace feature in Word, creating a new copy to meet different needs is really fast and simple. First things first, we need to convert this text. A quick inspection shows me that some of the terms are separated with a space, a longer hyphen known as an end dash, and a space. But others are separated by one regular dash and one space. So let's make two passes with search and replace to reformat this text. First, let's replace the space in dash space pattern with tabs or control T. The in dash is represented as caret equals, so we'll enter a space caret equal sign space as the string to replace. We'll enter a caret T as the replacement, as this represents the tab character. Click Replace All. Next, let's replace the dash space pattern. We need to be careful since there may be other dashes in use in hyphenated words, but these won't have an internal space. This looks good. We now have our data in a format that should be pretty easy to use for most purposes. Give the file a meaningful name and save it for later use according to your practices for organizing your course content. Thank you for reviewing this lesson. Now you're ready to make and play some games.